hailstorm victims continue to add up the damage. But Sunday's huge hailstorm didn't just destroy, as our Colleen Chin tells us new tonight. It is the reason for a rather interesting reunion. It was a scenic day like this at Lake Hefner back in April. Two friends went for a walk. Hey, Martha. It ended with a car break in. You just feel so naked without your purse. You feel like you can't function without it. <laughs> wow. On a not so scenic day, nearly a month later, giant hail like this pelted Oklahoma City's Masonic Lodge number 36. As skies cleared, John Holman walked to the roof to check for damage. Right here. Yes, I did. Monday afternoon, 5 o'clock or so. It wasn't damage he found in this corner of the roof. No, I wasn't real sure what they were initially, but all sorts of things wind up here. That's the first time for purses. It was Sherry Trosper's purse, theft and storm survivor. Uh, I thought, you got to be kidding. But, you know, I, I was just so shocked. Found on a roof, miles away, and full. But it's just soaking wet. And, it's still damp. And it's, yeah, there's like all these pieces of, I don't know if they were just the rock or gravel. And her passport, her license, her keys, her cash, and her camera with the hundred photos of her recent trip to England. You can replace your ID, you can replace your money, you can replace your checks, but I couldn't replace the pictures. The hail hit Sherry's home too but she's got a purse full of silver linings and gratitude. I just never expected to see it again. I'm just really, you know, it's, like I said, it's a relief, and I'm just very thankful and, and thankful to, to the person who was honest enough to find it and, and report it. And the village police told Sherry it's not the first time they've found stolen purses on a roof. It's a convenient place for thieves to throw away evidence. A few credit cards are missing, but Sherry says she's lucky and has learned the lesson to never leave her purse in the car again.